Her Majesty's state bands have had a hectic year with Trooping the Colour, state visits, the Jubilee and, of course, the Olympics. But they're not stopping there. They're now in rehearsals to put on a military musical spectacular, including five foot guards bands and two household cavalry bands. Laura Hawkins went to their rehearsal ground at Wellington Barracks to get a sneak preview. <laughs> Regimental bands of the Household Division contain arguably some of the UK's finest musicians. The public usually witness their marching music at ceremonial occasions, such as the changing of the guard at Buckingham Palace and celebrations like this year's Diamond Jubilee. But there are many performances that the public don't have access to, and that's why they're playing the Scarlet and Gold concert to showcase their talents on the stage. And what we want to do is we want to bring everything that we do in the state ceremonial arena into the concert hall and put it on show. So that's everything from violin solos to traditional marches to star wheels to fanfares to a guard's big band to uh, state trumpeters. It's everything that we do in, in a bottle. On the 15th and 16th of November at the Central Hall Westminster, nearly 200 military musicians will be playing music just like this. Everything from Take That, Star Wars, to the traditional. A fairly traditional selection from The Wizard of Oz, um, which has been around quite a long time, but uh, I think it's pretty timeless and the, the tunes should be easily recognisable to the audience and I hopefully, hope they will enjoy it. Proceeds from the ticket sales will go to Veterans Aid and the Army's Widows Association, but money will also go towards the Guards Museum to help safeguard the Guards' regimental history. If you're in London, um, it's for the price of the tickets. You, you can't get into normal concerts or shows for anything like that price. Uh, and it'll be a show that you won't get to see. Uh, it'll be a, a one-off, definitely. It's a great venue, the Westminster Hall, um, as the public can get really in up close to the Queen's musicians, so it's a great chance to, uh, to perform for the general public. The sight of all seven bands in their scarlet and gold uniforms with black bearskin caps on the stage will be one to savour, but better than that will be to hear the musicians raise the roof as they play together as one. Laura Hawkins, Forces News, Wellington Barracks.